Some families, remote learning puts them at risk for missing out on much needed support. Now the Boulder Valley School District is helping make sure those students have what they need to keep up with their learning. CBS4's Jamie Leary has a story. As school districts try to prepare for the unknown, the Boulder Valley School District is focused on its most vulnerable populations, already experiencing an achievement gap. Food deliveries are just one of the many ways that it's getting its families through the summer. It's everybody coming together to think about, hey, like, let's be creative. Let's be use some creative problem solving here to reach our families in new ways that we haven't before. When schools shut down, the district knew it had to find a way to keep getting meals to its families in need. We just are experiencing a lot more families who are kind of in transition in their things that are unknown to them that um, maybe felt really secure before. A drive through food bank is one solution. The lines grow weekly. If a family can't make it, the food comes to them. That's where Caitlin Guerreri comes in. She's one of 17 early childhood community liaisons for the district. While the delivery service is new, she can already tell it's making a huge difference. Just in my relationships that I build with families, I just I really care about the people I work with. Like many, Priscilla Compian is out of work. We're barely making enough to pay the bills, so this helps us to not have to eat bean and cheese burritos all the time. So this is mine. And the food, much more to her kids than their favorite cereal. Thinking about the Easter ham delivered and all of the other food, it's hard to explain. Some of the other items are just milk and healthy items that we're able to feed our kids with. It's just one of many ways the district is making sure students can start fresh come fall. And we know that kids that are well fed, like that's the, the best, you know, capacity for learning. For more information on the food delivery program and other ways the school district is helping its most vulnerable, you can visit us online at cbsdenver.com. In Broomfield, Jamie Leary, covering Colorado First.